Hey! Okay, so Pirates of the Caribbean news has dropped. And I'm going to be in front of the camera for this. <laughs> yeah, y you know, I was... <laughs> I was so annoyed with the reboot news. I don't remember how far back that was. But, um... When they said that they were going to reboot the series, it's like, are What? <laughs> really? <laughs> And, um, because the, the movie was, the last movie was released and then all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, we're, we're gonna reboot the series. What? <laughs> and, see, because Pirates of the Caribbean is like the only franchise that Disney has, that Disney has. It's not Jim Henson. It, it's not Marvel. It's not George Lucas. It's Disney. It, it's based off of a ride that has been in the in in the um, park forever, and they're fucking around with it. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like it's become so successful. They just don't know what to do with it, and um. So, yeah, it's it's just really irritating now. They should have stopped at three movies. I remember watching the fourth movie, and it just was confusing. And so, I and then I tried watching the fifth movie. I didn't even try with the last movie. It just, or maybe that was, maybe it was the fifth movie I didn't watch. The last movie. <laughs> anyway... So, I heard about this news. You'll probably hear about the news by the time you watch this. But Margot Robbie is supposed to star in an all-female cast that's like an off um, Pirates of the Caribbean movie. As Baymax says, I have some concerns. <laughs> First of all, these so-called, I guess you call them woke movies, <laughs> they bomb. <laughs> they bomb. Now, I understand being fans of the um, actors and actresses who are in the movie, so you defend, but facts are facts, they bomb. I double, triple checked these movies, like Birds of Prey and like, what what is it the the one with uh, <laughs> Oceans Eight and some of these others? They bomb because nobody wants them. You know, it, I don't understand them. What is the point of making an off? Look, Charlie's Angels makes sense because that's there's a reason for. The females to be there because that was the point they were written in <laughs> uh. but yeah so but oh man so first of all Margot is pairing up with the director for Birds of Prey why is Disney relying on a director for a movie that bombed to make a movie for their most successful franchise? How stupid. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I have nothing against Margot Robbie. I don't. No. <laughs> Before I get that, you know, backlash. No, I have nothing against her. I haven't seen any of her movies, so I can't say anything about her. <laughs> what I'm saying is, Birds of Prey bombed. I've seen the numbers. <laughs> Everywhere. Bombed. And, again, I understand being a big fan. Newsies bombed. Okay, <laughs> face planted. Rocketeer bombed. It did. And, um, but I love them. <laughs> so, so you can't come after me, okay? 
because I'm a fan of two movies that face planted. Okay. This. <laughs> yeah. Dead end. <laughs> and, um, the point is. Why would you hire someone? I mean, I, I just, I, I don't get it. Number two, here's, here's the second thing. They're already making a reboot movie. Why would you make another one? I don't care if it's an off movie. Are you trying to be hip and cool by keeping up with the woke crowd? That's dumb, okay? I feel like that's all Disney is doing, and it's already getting them in trouble with the Star Wars fans. And I don't know about the Marvel fans, but boy, are the Star Wars fans pissed as hell. Do you really want to do that with the pirate fans? I don't think so. It's <laughs> especially when Birds of Prey bombed. <laughs> I will bring that up as much as possible. Those films don't work. I've seen it everywhere. I I watch these um I watch these other channels who talk about these films. They just don't nobody wants to watch them. And I've seen where a lot of um female-based TV series aren't working. <laughs> oh man. It just turns into a buttload of trouble. You, you try and push it more and more in our face, and it just... Yeah, quit while you're ahead. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't make sense to make that film when you're already making the film. <laughs> That's wasted money. That that's a it's a crap ton of wasted money, and and who's paying for it? Now, <laughs> this is oh I I <laughs> calm. <laughs> calm all right now <laughs> I know that I'm not the only one that has noticed this. Because I, I read some comments when I was going through several different articles. People are very angry. Now, this is in the rumor phase and everything else, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The fact that they announced this, said that it's, it might happen, it doesn't matter. All right. So there are a lot of people who are angry. There are already people who are boycotting it, saying, and everything else. Fans have been fighting and petitioning and everything else for Johnny Depp to get his job back with Disney and everything. I mean, Disney fired him when everything came out and when, when that whole thing blew out of the water. And um, they're trying to have Disney rehire him so that he gets his job back and he can play Jack Sparrow again. And I honestly don't, I, I mean, I, I feel like this is a huge slap in the face. I feel like this, this is very insulting. He is, I mean, his co-stars like um, <laughs> Orlando Bloom, Kieran Knightley, and, and Jeffrey Rush and a lot of those others, they basically said that he established this franchise, that he made the movie. And, and they're right. I remember watching the first one in the movie theater. Now, I've been watching Johnny Depp since I was a little kid. <laughs> I became an even bigger fan watching him as Jack Sparrow. And because, because of how much he got into that character. He, he loved that character. I mean, the fact that he went into the park, into the ride, and surprised fans. He would go into, I mean, just all the stuff that he did. 
dressed as Jack Sparrow. And it was snatched from him over false allegations that didn't have any proof. And fans have rallied around him and done everything they can to get him that job back, to, to get him his job back with Disney so that he can play this part again. And what does Disney do? They announce, oh, we're making this off series, th this off movie that's an all female cast. I mean, am, am I the only one seeing how destructive that is? No, because others have seen it too, and they have been lashing out. And as I said, they are boycotting. <laughs> this is outrageous. You know, it's, it's a very destructive thing to do. You know, Strip away the fact that the fans have been petitioning and all of that and, 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 and everything else. Just the fact that he would, the, the stuff that he went through. He was abused by a woman and Disney fired him without proof and then they turn around and make an all-female cast yeah it, it's just it's not okay so yeah there are a lot of people who are very angry and um i mean anyway <laughs> But, um, anyway, yeah, it, it, and, and it, it really doesn't make sense because they're already rebooting, you know, aside from everything else I just said concerning, it doesn't make sense why they would do this anyway, because they're already rebooting. Apparently Zac Efron is going to play Jack Sparrow. So... <laughs> Why, why, why this? I don't care if it's an off thing, you know, like in a separate universe or whatever that you want to call it. Why would you do that when you, it's very confusing. And why does pirates, why do pirates need an alternate universe kind of a thing? They don't. They really don't. Anyway, I've kind of, I've made this a little bit too long. A lot too long. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be too long. Anyway, so, um, yeah, you've heard what I've had to say about this. I, I'm not impressed with this. I don't think it needs to be made. These kinds of movies bomb. They always do. Um, yeah, I have nothing against Margot Robbie. I've never seen anything that she's been in. And, um, so, yeah, before you guys come after me. <laughs> no, I've just, I've just never seen any of her movies. And, um, but, and there, you know, nothing against defending. I defend actors and actresses, but at the same time, remember that I, movies that I love bomb. <laughs> Labyrinth bombed, Dark Crystal bombed. So, um, and, and we all love those. So, uh, we all defend those up to high heaven. We all love King Jareth, so. <laughs> but in the end, facts are facts. And, um, so I'm, and I'm really not understanding why after Birds of Prey, I know I'm going over again, but I, I'm really not understanding how after Birds of Prey has bombed, they would hire a director with that under their belt, they would hire someone like that to make a movie for their most successful franchise. 
no sense. No sense at all. Anyway, so yeah, I better close up before this gets too long. But anyway, those are my thoughts. You know, being one of the biggest fans of Pirates of the Caribbean, I thought I should say something. So anyway, guys, um, that's, that's what I have to say on the matter. 